Today, I'm gonna show you five KDP niches that are beginner friendly and has the potential to make over 10K a month or so much more. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Sean and I built and sold a seven figure publishing business and now I'm building my second KDP account. So if you want no BS publishing advice from someone who's actually doing it, then make sure to subscribe. All right, today I'm gonna show you five niches that are beginner friendly, but also has the potential for you to build it into a four, five, or even six figures a month business if you do it right. I'll also show you how I would approach these niches if I would go into it myself, or maybe I'm already in it. So let's get started. Now, niche number one is AI coloring books. Now, AI is still not perfect, but it is getting better at a rapid pace. So learning how to use AI properly will give you a huge advantage over your competition. Now, this book from Kite Fox Publishing is at 8,000 in the BSR, making 19 to 23 sales a day which means it is making $47 to $57 every single day in royalties. Now, this is a BookBeam plugin that I have. It is a paid tool, but it does show me how much it is getting paid in royalties, not revenue. Now, until recently, we had to find freelance illustrators to create these coloring pages, either on Upwork or Fiverr, and you still can do that. It's still a great strategy, but using MidJourney properly, you can get pretty close to something like this. Now, these are some of the images that I generated on MidJourney. You can see that it is pretty close to these examples here. Now, obviously, you should still touch on the images to make it better, such as removing the grayscale and make it more coloring book friendly. However, this is a great way to start creating these coloring pages with AI. Now, how do you actually create these coloring pages with MidJourney? So I basically just went to MidJourney and typed in, imagine minimalistic adult calling pages, summer scenes, black and white, no grayscale, clear lines, dash dash AR nine colon 11. And all you have to do is replace the descriptive words such as summer scenes with something like nature scenes or for kids or any other words that describes a scene uh, to whatever scene you wanna generate. Now in terms of strategy and how I would approach this niche, I would start by targeting niches that are easier to create with Midjourney, such as nature scenes, relaxing patterns, those kind of images that Midjourney is better at generating. And once the AI technology gets better, then I would expand into other niches. So in summary, it will take some time as you still have to practice prompting Midjourney journey properly to get the image right. However, as AI keeps growing, the easier it gets to create these images. Now, the barrier of entry to this niche is very, very low, so you will have more competition, so you may consider running Amazon ads to stand out. And there's a lot of debate on whether you can use mid-journey images for KDP. My honest thought to that is as long as the book quality is good and it's serving the customer, then it doesn't really matter if you use AI or a real illustrator to create the pages. If the customers are happy, then Amazon will be happy too. But if this scares you, then you might like the next niche better. Niche number two is activity books. The reason why I love activity books is because of the repeat purchase potential. Often customers who likes these kind of books keeps buying more and more and more. You can also create many different types of activity books, such as mazes, puzzles, word search, uh, dot to dot, or you can mix them all into one huge activity book. Once again, going back to Kite Fox Publishing, they have a anxiety relief word search for adults and it's making 52 to $62 every single day. Now, in terms of the actual content, it is literally just a word search with some quotes over it and a floral pattern background. This is something that you can easily make yourself. In terms of strategy on how I would approach this niche is that I would just test a bunch of different niches because it's so easy to create. It's basically free to create these books once you learn how to do it. So I would just test a bunch such as like animal word search, nature word search, sports, entertainment, and just a bunch of different themes. And after seeing what kind of books do well, I would just keep making those. So how do you make these books? Well, first you need to generate the word search puzzle, which the easiest way to do this is using a tool like BookBolt. So if you guys wanna check out BookBolt, I'll leave a link in the description below, but it is about $20 a month and you can create puzzle books like word search very easily. Once you generate the word search, then all you do is add a text box above and type in whatever text you want to add. In this case, it is a self-care prompt and some quote underneath it. Then finally, you can go to sites like Creative Fabrica or Free Pick and get a nice background like a floral pattern background like this. And you will just add that to the background behind your puzzles and you're good to go. So if you guys do want to check out BookBolt or Creative Fabrica, I have a discount code for both. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, the great part about this niche is there's literally unlimited topics that you can go and create a book about. It is basically free to create. All you have to do is pay for essentially BookBolt subscription and Creative Fabrica subscription. And besides that, you you're just investing your time. And all you really need is a few books to really pick up and start selling. And then you can keep building a series from there and create a full-time income. Now, niche number three is adult gag gift books. 
Now, I absolutely love this niche because not only are they super profitable during Q4 where people are buying funny books to gift to their friends and family, I just find it really fun coming up with ideas and creating these books. So let me show you some examples. First one, we got a cooking with meth cookbook. So obviously it's it doesn't have the actual recipe or it's not promoting cooking with, you know, that, but it's more so just a gag gift or you gift it to a friend or family. And the joke is that, you know, the book cover uh, looks something like this. So you're kind of pranking other people who sees you uh, reading the book, but the actual interior is just a journal page. So you can see that inside there is nothing. Now this book is at 340,000 BSR. So they should be making one sale every day or every other day, which means that is about $30 a month that they're making just from literally creating a simple book cover and a journal page and a journal interior, which is very, very little work. So the next one is the same concept, but now we got cooking with semen. And this one is doing a lot better. It is making $47 to $56 every single day in actual royalties. And the next one we have is accomplishments of Joe Biden. And the joke is that the interior is literally just blank pages. So obviously I'm not making this as a political statement, you know, don't get mad. Uh, this is just an example of a funny gift that you can gift to your friends and family. Now, this book is making about $2 every single day in royalties from a very simple book like this. Now, this is a very easy book type to create because all you have to do is come up with a funny book cover. And then basically the interior is a blank notebook, which you can just get the template from BookBolt and use that. In terms of coming up with ideas, you can just come up with whatever idea that you think is funny, but you can also ask ChatGPT and come up with a bunch of funny book ideas. Once again, for the interior, you can just use the template BookBolt has for the notebook. And in terms of designing the book covers, it seems like a lot of the examples that I showed you, they just designed it themselves using Canva, BookBolt, or just outsourced it very cheaply on Fiverr as well. Now, in terms of strategy, volume will be important because each book, as you can see, does not make a ton. So you will have to make multiple books and those income will stack up. The great way to get ideas besides ChatGPT is to go into Pinterest. You can also go to Etsy and look up funny gifts and you can often get a bunch of ideas from there that you can apply into your books. Now, before we move on to niche number four, are you looking to unleash your creativity and create stunning designs without the hassle of expensive software and hours of learning? Well, look no further than Kittle, the most intuitive design platform out there. Kittle works right in your browser. It's complete with fonts, illustration library, pre-made templates, advanced editing tools, and much more. With AI directly integrated into the editor, Kittle is the only platform that delivers unmatched speed and a seamless workflow, allowing users to create powerful vector designs within a matter of minutes. You can try it yourself and get free access by clicking the link in the description. So Kiddo is actually an amazing resource to make these kind of books that I've been showing you. So thank you Kiddo for sponsoring this segment of the video. All right, niche number four is guided meditation books. Now this niche is a little different than others because we're gonna be focusing on audiobooks on Audible because you can sell guided meditation books on KDP uh, ebook and KDP print as well. But the majority of sales will come from the audiobook. So this book on Audible, Guided Meditation Bundle for Sleep, Relaxation, Stress Reduction, and Anxiety Relief is making $30 to $48 every single day in royalties. This book, 15 Guided Meditations for Your Root, Sacral, and Solar Plexus Chakras. Uh, it does not show how much it's making. So Bookbeam, once again, is glitching a little bit, but at 40,000 BSR, it should be making a couple hundred dollars a month. So I found this book's ebook version on Amazon. And if you look inside, it's literally just a very simple guided meditation script. And it is written in a way that it, you can just follow along and for the audiobook narrator to read it along as well. Like right here, you can see that feel the waves of energy pull you down deeper into this reality. Feel the base of your spine, feel your feet, you're one with the earth. 20 minute bell, powerful arm. So it's really just a guided meditation script. Now, how do you make this? Well, you can go to ChatGPT once again to kickstart the writing. Don't just copy paste. I always say this, but you never want to copy paste directly from ChatGPT, but it's a great way to get started with the writing. And then you can just add your own input, edit the text from there. Now you can also get ideas from YouTube. There's a lot of guided meditation videos on YouTube. So if you ever wonder how you should write the book, well, you can just watch a YouTube video and essentially just model your writing based on that. Once again, I always want to clarify, don't just copy the script from YouTube video directly into your book, change it up and make your own version. But that is how you can get ideas. Now, in terms of strategy, because the narrator will be reading the book very, very slowly because it's a guided meditation book, you don't have to have a lot of word count in your book. I recommend writing between a 8,000 to 10,000 word script 
then sign up to ACX and put your book up for audition. You'll get a ton of people auditioning for your book, so just pick the one you like and have them narrate the book. It takes an average of one to two weeks for them to narrate the entire book, but once that is done, you'll have your very own audiobook on audible.com. So in summary, this is just one example of many audiobook niches that you can go into, but guided meditations can be good because it's very simple and easy to create, as well as there's a lot of smaller guided meditation niches that you can hit to stand out easily and make some sales. But if you have a higher budget and you want to take things a step further, then you might want to try niche number five, which is high content books. Now, generally, when something has a higher barrier of entry, then you make more money from it. Because if something takes more work, then less people are willing to do it, which means you have less competition. High content books are the traditional nonfiction or fiction books that you see in bookstores. This usually takes a little bit more time and money to create, but because of that, you usually make more money than low or medium content books. And it's actually not that hard to create these kind of books if you understand the process. This author writes about productivity and time management, and he makes over $30,000 a month and revenue across all formats, which includes ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audiobook. Now, productivity is a great niche, but it doesn't have to be this niche. Think of whatever topics you like to read about and then go and search that on Amazon. If you see other books with tons of reviews and a BSR of less than 80,000, then that is a sign that a lot of other people are also interested in this book topic. So how do you make these books? Well, making these books is a lot easier than you think. If you're like me, who's not a writer, who don't know how to write, then you can outsource it to a professional ghostwriter for a relatively low cost. You can use sites like Upwork or ghostwriting companies like the Urban Writers. Just go to the urbanwriters.com, click on the writing package, pick the package you want to order from, send them the book title and the details, and then they will take over from there. Now, if you guys do wanna check out the Urban Writers, I'll leave a little discount code in the description below. For the book cover, I recommend you either use Fiverr or 99designs to create a high quality book cover. So I'll also leave a link to some of the recommended cover services below. Now, the biggest benefit to high content books is that you can sell it in many different formats. As you can see, this brand is selling their books as a paperback, hardcover, audiobook, and the ebook Kindle version as well. But that is just just on Amazon. You can also sell your book in other platforms such as Draft to Digital, Ingram Spark, and many different stores outside of Amazon. So you definitely want to make sure that you maximize these income streams. And if the book does well in English, then you can even go further by translating into different languages and do the same thing, such as selling it on ebook, paperback, hardcover, audio, and expanding that translated book into different stores. So high content books is how I made over seven figures from my Amazon KDP business, but there are a ton of other people making six or even seven figures or more creating low or medium content books as well. So you just have to see what niche works for you best. So hopefully this video shows you that there are a ton of niches that you can go into that are inexpensive even if you're a complete beginner and scale that business up to five, six, or even seven figures a year. Now, I just wanna add is that just because something is easy to do doesn't mean that you wanna put in the bare minimum effort to producing a book. You always want to focus on producing high quality books that customers actually enjoy and gets positive reviews because that is how you make long term sales. So all the resources mentioned in this video is in the description below, often with a discount code so you can get them at a price that you can't find anywhere else. So hope you enjoyed the video. And before you go, if you're serious about taking your KDP business to the next level, then I do have a complete publishing program called Road to Hero. If you want to learn more, there is a free training in the description below, as well as another link where you can check out the program directly. Either way, it is not just a bunch of video lessons compiled together. We actually got a bunch of coaches that are verified over 10K a month earners uh, that will hold your hand and help you through the process. We got one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We got weekly Q and A's. We got a private Facebook group where you can ask us questions directly. So it is really a complete training program to scale your business. So if you are interested, once again, check it out in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.